name is Maya Sundermeyer, and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. So far, I have talked about my experiences of living on the autism spectrum. Then I like to give my two cents about what's going on with autism in the media. And finally, I like to uh, express uh, topics that I am passionate about that do not revolve around autism, such as Dragon Con and My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, and Doctor Who, and um, astronomy, and uh, many more uh, interesting things. Uh, so anyway, I had recently uh, stumbled upon an article on Twitter on Saturday night when I was trying to promote my last blog. And uh, this article was published through Medical News Today and was written by uh, uh, Honor Whitman on the uh, 24th of June, 2014. And I stumbled upon it four days later when I was uh, promoting my blogs. Um, and the article was about a study that was conducted from 2003 to 2014, or I mean 2004 to 2013, um, through the University of Cambridge's Autism Research Center, and um, it was run by yeah, uh, Dr. Sarah Cassidy and Professor Simon Cohen. Um, and uh, what they were trying to determine is to whether or not uh, people with Asperger syndrome showed higher rates of suicidal thoughts. And what they did was uh, they took um, over 370 participants uh, during that nine-year time period. And what they did was they yeah, had them read uh, lifelong uh, read and go over lifelong uh, lifelong depression. Uh, questionnaires and what they had found is that 66% uh, of people with Asperger's syndrome uh, said that uh, they had felt suicidal and uh, they said uh, compared to the general population which said that it was at 17% compared to uh, people with psychosis or schizophrenia was at uh, 59%. Um, now uh, that does not really surprise me at all that uh, people on the autism spectrum would uh, feel depressed like that. And uh, I think it's, one, it's because uh, we have organizations like Autism Speaks um, that are poisoning the minds of um, our society and saying that autism is a disease and people with Asperger's and autism are mentally ill and uh, they have a lack of empathy and ya da 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 um, and, uh, and then um, I would also understand why they would feel depressed because um, they're between being autistic and being a neurotypical. And a lot of times someone with Asperger's syndrome, like myself, who's very, very mild, uh, is told that they look fine by the general population. But then when they see the quirks and, um, you know, and some of the behaviors and then they start listening to the stigmas, we tend to get pushed away and we get knocked o rolled over to the other side of autism and then um, I mean because because uh, people aren't so sure they try to treat everybody like a hammer or uh, they act like a hammer and treat every autistic like a na or as be like a neighbor or nail and then they have uh, and then you know uh, people with Asperger's tend to have uh, struggles making friends and um, finding a special someone and you know, finding a, even finding a regular job because of their communication skills and then because of the stigmas. So those are some reasons why I, I would suspect people with Asperger's syndrome would be, um, would feel suicidal, suicidal at one time or another. I mean, uh, I did when I was a teenager when things didn't work out the way that I wanted them to. And then um, I will give my two cents. Um, Again, I mean, they uh, spent nine years working on this study uh, just in the United Kingdom, but they didn't really go over any other uh, other areas in Europe, like Germany or Spain or um, Australia or Japan. They just stuck to one area. And then um, you never know when these people on the autism spectrum felt depressed. I mean, as to what, you know, and, you know, it, it probably didn't give a date. And then, you know, you look at the general population, and I'm sure there are probably more people that have felt suicidal at one time or another, and especially with the economy going back crap crazy. And then um, people just keep getting meaner and meaner. 
you know, you name it. You know, they just, um, neurotypicals are uh, more likely to hide their emotions than somebody with Asperger's. And someone with Asperger's, like myself, is uh, usually too honest for their own good. So th that's my two cents on the matter. Um, if you have any comments and you'd like to um, add it, please be sure to uh, write them below, but do not be rude about what I just said. Um, if I've done something wrong, um, please be sure to correct me. And uh, please also be sure to subscribe to my channel. Until next time, my name is Maya Sundermeyer, and I'm signing off now. Bye.